Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about business flyers and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a business flyer for free in Canva? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a business flyer anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. Even if you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you go to in-person events. It might be helpful if you're prepared with business flyers. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your free Canva account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my free Canva account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a free business flyer using your Canva account, you want to click on the search bar here at the top and just type in business flyer. Okay, so once you do that, you want to scroll down until you see Canva templates and then click on see all. Okay, so now you're going to see all of the business flyer templates that are available in your free Canva. However, most of these are going to be free, but some of them do have a cost associated with them. You can see this one has a crown. It has a dollar sign. But if you want to go ahead and filter out just by the free templates, you want to go ahead and click on all filters right here. And then you'll see this pop up here on the left and just scroll all the way to the bottom until you see this button here called free and then click on apply. Okay, so now here are all of the free templates available in your Canva account. You can see there's quite a few of them. Actually, there's a whole bunch of them. And some of these are really, really quite creative. So you just want to kind of scroll through and then just see which one applies to your particular business. So let's go ahead and well, this one looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and use this one. All right, so we just clicked on it. Okay, so now it's giving you some examples of the flyer. And the cool thing about Canva is when you click on one particular template, it's going to show you related ones down here. So you want to scroll down and sometimes you can find an even better one. But for me, this one looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on customize this template. Okay, so here we are in the business flyer template editor. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to set up. It's going to be setting up like a Facebook business page. So all of this, we're going to be able to edit. When you hover over your business flyer, you're going to see these kind of purple boxes. That means that you can edit the contents within. So for example, I don't run a car wash. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here and then we can go ahead and triple click and we can edit it. So let's say we do YouTube marketing. Okay. So as you can see, that looks kind of strange just because it's covering everything else up. So we can go ahead and click up here and decrease the size of the letters until it fits in there. So let's see here, marketing. Let's see, keep going. Okay, that looks good. And now you can see there's a big space right here. So maybe we want to go ahead and hover over that box and we can just drag it down a little bit. So it fills up that space and maybe premium. We'll do the same thing and drag that one down a little bit. Okay, so it looks a little bit more full. And then my company is not Larana Inc. So we'll go ahead and click on there and we'll just type in our company name, make money, Anthony. Let me go ahead and redo that, make money, Anthony. And then same thing, we can go ahead and triple click and highlight all of the words. Maybe we want to make it bold and then maybe we want to go ahead and decrease the size. So that way it looks a little bit more flush. All right. So now if you look right here, it has this picture of this guy washing a car. Again, my business is not washing cars. So what we can do is over here on the left, we can go ahead and click on upload. Okay. Here's going to show all the pictures that you have in your Canva that you uploaded. If you want to use a different picture, you can easily just upload right here on this purple button and upload it from your computer. And then it's going to be stored here in your Canva right here. But for me, I'll go ahead and use this picture. And the weird thing about Canva is there's not really, I don't know, there's no way to right click and then replace picture. So what you need to do is just grab the picture that you want to replace it with. And you're just going to drag it right over the existing picture. And as you can see, it just automatically resizes it for you and you just drop it right in. Okay. And then we'll just do that for each picture. So right here, if we want to go ahead and replace this woman and we're going to maybe just drag in the city picture. All right. So that looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and maybe just duplicate the city in all of these pictures right here. Okay. So now it has nothing to do with the car wash in these images. All right. And then maybe right here, our services, I'll go ahead and type in, how can I help? Okay. And then I'm going to decrease that. Okay. That looks good. And you're just going to go through all of these. If there's something on there that you don't really like, or it doesn't really apply to you, you can just go ahead and click on the purple box and then click on delete, or you can click on the purple box and then click on this trash can. And as you see, it just disappeared. Now, as far as the background color, you can see it's kind of like this gray. I actually like that color. Kind of weird. It's matching my shirt right now, but you just click on the box and it's going to have this purple line around the entire box. So what you're going to do is up here, you can see it's gray. Just click on the color and it's going to open up all of these other colors. So maybe we want it to be this turquoise blue. That actually doesn't look too bad. Um, so you just kind of click it, keep going until you see something that fits with your brand. So I kind of like that turquoise blue. Now, if there's other elements you want in here, like maybe you want a smiley face or you want a dollar sign or something like that, you can go over here and click on elements and then you can use the search bar and look for elements. So maybe we'll do dollar. Okay. So some of these elements have a cost associated with it. You can see it has a crown. So you can kind of just go through 
and find one that does not have that crown. So let's see here, like this one right here. And it's just a drag and drop. So you just grab it and swing it on over into the general area. And then you're just going to drop it down. And then you can easily just resize it by clicking on it and use those little white bars and move it to where you want it to be. So maybe we want just a little tiny icon of a dollar down here at the bottom. Or maybe this icon that they have right here. We don't like that. So we'll go ahead and delete that one. And then maybe I want the dollar sign to be up by my business name right there. So as you can see, you can really, really customize your business flyer in your Canva account for free. All right. So we're almost done. Uh, the next thing that I would recommend doing is go ahead and rename it. That way you can reference back later. So let's do business, business, flyer, free. Okay. And we're pretty much done. The cool thing about Canva is you can print directly from them if you want to go ahead and have that sent to you by clicking right here. And then you can go through the order. Of course, there is a cost associated with that. However, if you have a local printer that you're working with, you can easily just click on the share button. All right. Once you click on share, you want to go ahead and click on download. All right. Once you click on download, you need to ask your print file type they want. So by default, it's PNG, but maybe they want a JPG. Maybe they want a PDF. So you need to ask them for that. For me, I'm going to do PNG. And then you want to go ahead and click on download. All right now it's processing. Okay, it downloaded. Let me go ahead and open it up. Okay, guys. So here is my business flyer that I put together for free in my free Canva account. I don't have the paid subscription on this account. So with here, you can go ahead and email it over to your printer, or maybe you're going to be printing it out yourself. And it looks pretty good. And since you have it here in your Canva, if you need to go back and edit, maybe you change your phone number, maybe you change your website. Maybe you want to create this for a different business that you have. You can easily just go ahead and start editing once again. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create a business flyer for free using your Canva account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.